Hey everyone, today I'll show you how to set up and install a D-Link range extender, DAP1620. The setup process is similar for our other range extenders. Your range extender should have came with a configuration card that has the default wireless network name and the password listed. You'll need this when we're connecting to the signal of the extender. In the event you don't have that card, the same information is also listed on the back of the extender. Go ahead and power on the range extender. You'll notice that the LED is red at first and after a few seconds it's going to start flashing amber. Let's go ahead and move over to a wireless computer and scan for available wireless networks and connect to the signal of the extender. Since the DAP1620 is a dual band range extender, you're going to see two network names. One is the 5 GHz network name and the other one is the 2.4 GHz network name. You can go ahead and connect to any one of the signals. Once you're connected to the extender, you may be automatically redirected to the setup page of the extender. In the event the setup page doesn't come up, open up a web browser such as Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome, or Safari, and in the address bar, type in dlinkap.local and press enter. Or you can type in 192 .168.0.50. If you still don't get the setup page, please make sure that you're connected to the signal of the range extender. Let's go ahead and click on next to start the setup process. In this example, I'm going to show you how to manually set up the extender to extend an existing wireless network. If your router does have a WPS button, go ahead and push that now. Otherwise, go ahead and click on Extend an Existing Wireless Network. The extender will scan for available wireless networks. Go ahead and select your home Wi-Fi network. You'll be prompted to put in the password for your home Wi-Fi network. Once done, click Next. Here you have the option of changing the wireless network name of the extender. I'm going to go ahead and change the network name. I'm also going to change it for the 5 GHz network name as well. We recommend that the network name for the 2.4 and the 5 GHz are different from each other so this way you know which network you're connected to. So in this example I left the 2.4 GHz network name as DAP1620 and for the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network I put in DAP1620-5 GHz. I will also change the password. Leave this box checked where it says use the same password for both networks. What this means is the password that I input here is going to be the same for the 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz network. Go ahead and click Next. By default, your extender does not have an admin password to log into the web configuration. You want to go ahead and create that now. This is not the same as your Wi-Fi password. Once done, click Next. Here you'll see a summary of the settings that we've changed. Make a note of the extended Wi-Fi network and the Wi-Fi password. Once done, click Finish. If you get prompted to bookmark the web management, go ahead and click OK. The extender will now reboot to apply your settings. Click OK and close the web browser. Go ahead and scan for available wireless networks and let's connect to the signal of the range extender. Once connected, the setup is complete. Your internet should be working as normal. The DAP1620 has a signal strength indicators, which are the three vertical LEDs. If the LED is amber, it means it's getting a weak signal from your home router. 
try moving it closer to the home router. The more lit bars on the signal strength indicator, the better the, the wireless signal it's getting from the home router. For more helpful videos, please check out support.dlink.ca.